This is an example of a conventionally framed single story home with a gable roof. This is a straight gable. The rafters go all the way through and uh, plywood sheathing, OSB, oriented strand board sheathing, conventional framing, wall studs. And we're just going to kind of take the house apart here and rotate it around, give you an idea of how these homes are built and I believe this is going to be a three-part series one on the roof which is this one one on the walls and one on the floor uh, just to give you an idea of how these homes are built again there's the rafters we've got the fascia board fascia board going around the perimeter of the roof it can be a variety of different sizes mainly just for decoration zoom in here give you a Look there, there's the roof rafter sitting on the wall. There's the gable studs underneath this particular rafter or jack studs, referred to them two different, uh, two different ways. It depends on what part of the country you are at. Another view. I'm going to take a closer look at the gable studs here or the jack studs. And sometimes these walls are going to be balloon framed or rake walls. They are going to go all the way up. There will not be a break at the plate uh, line there. There will be the studs will go all the way from the bottom of the wall to the top of the wall. And uh, it would have two plate, two top plates on the top. So you would have a rafter underneath the rafter two top plates and then the wall studs and that uh, seems to be more of a common way and I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a link in here somewhere at some time hopefully soon show you what a balloon framed wall looks like you're always gonna have to if you have a bigger ridge that uh, what we just passed up you're gonna have to uh, if you have a 2 by 10 ridge let's say which is what we're looking at here that's where the rafters connect to and you are using like two by six or two by eight fascia board then you will need to notch the ridge when it uh, protrudes out there we are taking the gable studs away the gable studs are still in on the other side but i'm going to remove them by the time i get there again just kind of flinging around here that is the seat cut where the rafter sits on the wall. It's referred to as the seat cut of the rafter. The top cut is usually referred to as the plum cut at uh, where it meets the ridge. Plum cut because it's uh, usually plum, which a plum is straight up and down. Level would be horizontal. Uh, plum would be referring to a vertical member, framing member, or cut. Uh, for example seat cut again on the wall there's all your rafters your rafters can be spaced uh, 16 inches on center 24 inches on center depends upon the engineer uh, you have to you know obviously can't just build something and uh, think it's going to be safe that is it for this video wrapping it up okay off to the next one